I mean, it matches really well with the fender right here. Just back there at the back of the door, it's kind of... Hi guys, welcome back. I think this evening, actually it's uh, night. Uh, getting out here really late, like I used to do. The uh, reason being is I had to do stuff around the house and didn't get done until the uh, girls have your best. So I'll put them to bed and then... Anyways, it's about 10.30 out here right now, so... Don't have much time, but uh, what I think I'm going to do is take the door back off and remove the pillar and kind of, I won't say tweak, but kind of turn the top of the pillar towards the front of the Bronco a little bit and put it back on uh, and see if that helped draw the door further to the front. May I have to kind of tweak it on the all the way down I'm thinking if I can uh, get enough angle on it because right now it's almost like a 90 degree bend and I don't think they're supposed to be made like that and I could have did that myself I can't remember if I've messed with that one or not but uh, I think I'll put a little bit of angle on it and two that'll help the fender slip over it I was having trouble with the uh, I'm sorry the fender holes lining up where they need to be on the A pillar but the fender sitting on it so I'm thinking that turn that forward a little bit may help the fender set down on it better uh, i guess we'll, we'll see but other thing i was gonna do tonight was put the international on jack stands move the dollies to the bronco but uh that itself is going to be a uh, not really a long process but just something i don't want to do tonight i'd rather mess with the pillar a little bit and kind of get an idea of, of we need to uh, keep bending a little bit more to get that angle back and uh, seeing how the fender fits with it. But <sighs> anyways, I'm tired. So uh, let's hop over there, pull the door off. Like I said, pull the A-pillar off. Probably come here to the vise and just kind of bend it over a little bit. I kind of try to set you up and show you show you what I mean. Would be better if I had the dollies on though so we could turn the Bronco almost sideways and a lot less uh, walking around stuff. But we'll probably do that next time. Yeah, because I want to buy another set of those. I think they're $65 for two of them. And that's digging in my money when I really don't have to. Because so I got enough jack stands there. I can put that up and put the dollies on this but anyways uh like i said we'll probably do that next time that way we can just have better access to the door area but i think tonight with what we're doing i think just being a little bit and seeing what what works and might be in a good good spot for next time to uh really massage it and get that back pillar or the back plate right and the fender up there and possibly the outer rocker on after we get all those things that kind of lined up but anyways enough talking let's get over there and we'll uh start taking stuff apart
Well, that's a pretty good result we got tonight. Uh, got the door shut. Still really tight, as you can tell. All the way down, but nothing's nothing's overlapping. Bowman door needs to come to the front just a little bit, which I think we can do with the shim right here. And the body line is off just a little bit. So I think it needs to, hold door needs to move up a bit. But it, this is the closest as I've ever been to getting things to fit. Might open the door back up right quick, throw the fender on, see what that looks like. And then uh, grab an outer rocker and push it up and see how that looks. But I'm really pleased with where we're at right now. Did have to push it a little bit, but it's, uh, I say shut, it's, it's latched. Let's see, we got a big old gap down there. Wish this inner rocker would fill that, or outer rocker fill that in. This is pretty close, and this is pretty close, so I think we're we're in the ballpark. Uh, let's put the fender on right quick, see how that goes, and then we'll get a outer rocker and slap it on and see what that looks like. So it looks like with a fender on it. A little low, low here. Bolt holes on the fender are still too high to where the pillar is. I feel like the whole pillar needs to move up just a hair. So I'm wondering if I could take a snip off this in order for it to go up. I think side to side we're almost there. That is way too long to fit in there. I think the uh, worst part is this over here. Just won't even try to go on. But I do think the pillar does need to move slightly more to the front and up just a hair. And then we can shim the door down here to bring the door bottom this way <clears throat> and it should raise this up a little bit too but the whole door needs to come up just a little bit to get that body line matching I mean, it matches really well with the fender right here just back there at the back of the door it's kind of kind of sagging a little bit i do think we are pretty pretty good as in uh where things need to be except for this gap's way too big this gap is way too small, so we'll have to uh, shim it or find a way to bring that gap together. I think we're closer than we've ever been, and this lines up pretty well. All my fender bolt holes, you can see, just shy going down the Bronco. Pretty happy, especially how well that lines up right there. I do think it needs to come up some. Probably the pillar needs to come up some, and the hinges need to drop just a little bit to get this right. Then we can shim the bottom, move the door over. And I think we'll be, uh, be in pretty good shape. May have to cut section this and attempt to re-weld it and make it look better, or just get a new one from Dennis Carpenter. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that. Uh, I think I can make it work, but I'm going to have to cut it. Because I think we're, we're pretty close here, and I don't want to jam that in there and make the 
a pillar shoot way too far forward when we're so close right now i feel like so i think this is pretty much about where it was original yeah looks pretty good we are almost there almost there well i think that'll do it for me this evening kind of a short video but we're just kind of fitting playing with stuff uh i am going to turn the door pillar a little bit more that seemed to help quite a bit and i may grind a little piece off of the top section here to bring that pillar up just a hair uh i think it needs to come up just a little bit let me know what y'all do in that situation if i should trim it or not just turning it a little bit and re-drilling the uh, holes for the front plate really really helped a lot i'm gonna have a lot of holes to fill up on that kick panel at least it it seems like it should work uh, we're pretty close nothing's overlapping gaps a little tight in the back and the back needs to come up just a hair but i think we can do that with some shims and uh maybe moving the pillar like i said up and out a little bit anyways if you like this kind of stuff uh please hang around hopefully we'll be welding this side up soon and uh getting everything set I'm doing the passenger side and then hopefully by the end the international will be out maybe the healy uh, tires on the Healy are super bad, so I'm not sure. Many other tires on the International are, are pretty good. They, they'll hold air, and we can push it out to the barn. I'm going to go work out there here over the next month or so. Clearing a spot. But, uh, yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, please stick around. i got plenty more to show you. Plenty more to struggle through, and uh, hopefully get this Bronco back on the road here soon. And I'll keep on saying that been two years but like i said before i i never made this far without starting a youtube channel and having y'all's input and comments and encouragement uh it's really pushed me to to get as far as i have uh so i just want to say thank you again uh does mean a lot all y'all support and uh we'll we'll get her back on the road and enjoy her and hopefully take it to some car show see see how it does but anyways Thank you again, and I'll see you next time.